get going and when I start feeling, I just get this feeling inside that something needs to be said. I just, I react. Rashad said you felt like you were a natural leader. Uh, if I could, I wanted to ask you to talk about two examples of that. One that a lot of people saw, one that you didn't see at all. The first is what people saw before Clemson when you, you let our cameras get in pregame. We're expected teams, particularly the kind of stern pregame speech when someone was shouting. How were you in that position? Why did you take that direction? Well, most people, when they think about big games, they think about, oh, man, let's get serious, get focused. But I just wanted to bring a different approach because the game that we all love and the game we all play, it's about fun. And as long as we like comfortable in our situation, as long as we comfortable, we're going to do our job right. So I want everybody to know, team-wise, like, hey, have fun. Let's chill. Let's get the vibe going. Let's get our swagger together. Let's get everything together. So... I mean, we just went with the flow. A season ago at NC State, when you weren't even playing and things started to go the wrong way for you in the second half, how did you react then in terms of leadership? Remember, what did you do? I got everybody up. I just, I mean, I brought the intensity. I was trying to bring the intensity back, but it looked like we were kind of flat. So I just wanted everybody to just stay in and stay in the game. Like, hey, we got this. Hey, don't let, don't let things fall off. Because that's one thing that, we're known for is letting, letting things fall off, and I, I didn't want that to happen. Like, we, we didn't need that to happen because we were highly ranked. Everybody, I mean, we had to win the attitude, so I had to keep it. We had to keep it. For a guy that is yet to play in a game, what gave you the belief to address juniors? And- Don't let their mistake make us. Let's not play down to that level. Let's play Florida State football and keep things going. James, I was growing up in Alabama. You probably don't have good eyes. Have you gotten that sense? Some of your teammates, how personal this game is. Yeah, um, it's more of like a, a brotherly game. You know, Miami is obviously down south, and you know, it's it's a big it's a big robbery. But you know, it's just it's like we're gonna be in the backyard. I mean, we just gonna be playing against each other, and uh, we want to. And I think when you have a, a great team, the by being a robbery, those great those great players are gonna turn into amazing players because they they have a lot inside, just like we have. So it's gonna be a battle. We we'll expect it to be a, a, I mean, a good game. I mean, because we we're going to every game expecting it to be a good. So even if they have some mediocre players, they're going to turn into outstanding players just because of the pride that's going to be in this game and just because what they have to lose and what we have to lose. What separates the rivalry today from others in sports? This one, FSU against Miami. Well, it's, it's, it's an in-state rivalry. And uh, most people.